Hey everybody, XGI here. Welcome to a blind let's play of The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. This is the enhanced edition. Um, I'm going to uh, let this play out. I know there's a movie up front that I canceled while doing the settings for the game. I can already tell the audio is super loud, but uh, it seems to be not honoring my settings. So uh, let's just watch this intro movie and then we'll, we'll get into looking at the settings and stuff to get this thing going. I mean, these graphics are outstanding. For the year this was released, I do forget the year this was released. I had it written down somewhere. Pretty impressive though. Even the first one was, the cinematics were relatively impressive. These are Inquisition style movie quality right here though. That's what I'm comparing it against. Inquisition was 2015, I think. This came before that, because Witcher 3 was somewhere in 2015? Something. There's Assassins of King, so at some point I would suspect this is going to go very poorly for that king. Those, those look like the kind of ruffians that uh, were all going to be taken out at the bar. Sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those are the kind of bodyguards you need. Wow. <laughs> How did it not affect you, man? You into that shit? Oh, wait, are they shattering? Or just the ice? No, 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 Oh my god. Rad. Rad? What did I just miss? Let's back 20 years to the early 90s. Terrible shot. Did you just have like a perfect archer? Wait, weren't you the perfect archer? <laughs> How did that happen? This is all of a from blank, man. Damn. Every chance you had to not be in this predicament. The ship just watched. Well, uh, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Uh, all right, so here's what I've done so far. I have this audio right here. Uh, it's it's like it's almost at the same level as my voices. So that's what's weird. It's either my recording software is messed up, or things like this aren't honoring what I'm saying. Like I'm saying 50% or less, like 50%, like I don't know, 40%, and I still feel like it's over overblown. So this is happening since a couple. Uh, OBS is what I use, OBS Studio as a recording device. I'm keeping dialogue all the way up because I won't generally, hopefully, I'll control myself, won't be talking over our uh, dialogue. Anyways, um, yeah, this sounds very loud, but we're going to keep going because uh, I, don't, I don't know the trust anymore. <laughs> okay, and in terms of graphics, uh, that's not what I want to look at. Can I not see graphics from 
I hear? I can't. I guess it was like pre-launch of the game. I set everything to ultra. All of it is on. So we'll see what that looks like. The only thing I had to tweak to go even on the ultra settings it was set to normal and I put the far was the range I think. Maybe it's like the range of sight or view or something. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, unless I'm missing something. It looks like everything else is on as far as gameplay is concerned. All this is on. So we'll see. We'll see what all of that means. Let's just get, get something started. Uh, import. Right. Oh shoot, I've read down my system since. Let's cross I think Oh good, good. Order of the Flaming Rose. Why is that different than this? I, I recall this being the last thing we did. I mean that would have been four is like the save file four versus Ice Plains is where we ended, Witcher. One. And then you come off the Ice Plains. Well I'm gonna go with the highest uh two thirty five. Do you wanna begin yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some difficulty settings there. I didn't. I didn't. Um, I don't know. Just normal. Well, as, lo as long as it's normal. Wasn't it like the first one was like normal was actually hard. Easy was normal or something. I think I say. I think I still play that at normal. I don't remember now. And it's opening a tutorial panel. Uh, tab. Press. So tab. Okay. Ooh, this looks clean though. I'm already. I again. My my probably my biggest criticism of Witcher One. Very designerly. <laughs> very designerly but not not clean not good for a, a game good for art good for a book right but when it translates to the screen it was uh, difficult this is like it's like dragon 2 like uh, dragon dragon age 2 for me was probably the cleanest ui i've had in any of the modern games of the last seven years i suppose is what i've yeah i haven't played many of them yet but anyways opening the tutorial panel we'll pause the game so that you can read its contents as at your leisure. Hints can also be found outside tutorial panels when you initiate a new quest. The text beneath the mini map on the right of the screen will tell you what to do. Tap. Pay close attention to the tutorial panels appearing on the screen. You can close and restore them at any time the tutorial panels contain instructions. You should follow and identify the keys or buttons you need to press. Well, let's just hit tap. Camera and controls. Rotate the camera to look around. Control your character using the keyboard. You can also toggle. Okay. Damn leaky boat. My oh, boots are soaked. Yet another boggy shithole. Sweet. Okay, I think I, I put <laughs> most sensitivity. I think I did backwards. <laughs> Excuse me. I was at two, but man. Did we get the you know, the opening screen looked like it was going nuts on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Resume game. Let's see. God, is it just me? Am I like the only... Oh, I see what's going on. The other thing I friggin... Hate is a strong word. But this is, has been a feeling for... For over 10 years in games. Is the friggin mouse... I mean, is there are there people out there that love the way... The inverse mouse stuff? Is it just, it can't just be me. Where did I see this? But difficulty easy. You cannot change your difficulty settings while fighting. Okay. Fighting arena. Anyways, this is not what I wanted. Uh, game go controls. This. Am I the only one, man? Invert X axis. That's backwards. Left isn't right and right isn't left. Why are you doing this? Okay, let's see now. Yeah, man. Am I the only one? That if I move the mouse left, I want to look left. And when I move the mouse right, I want to look right. And when I move the mouse up, I want to look up. And when I move the mouse down, I want to look down. Is it only like Mac users that have... Mac users aren't the ones playing most games. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. I, there, was, there was a time I had to use Mac, Mac and PC. And that's when all those in, idiosyncrasies started to like stand out to me. Anyway, standing, stand near a container and click on it to bring up a list of its contents. Then select the items you wish to take. And on that note, like sometimes it did make sense the more you use it. Because then like, the scroll is like, oh, it sort of does. Because it sort of functions like the tab. Why is my camera glitching out? Are you guys seeing that or is it just me? Because I just up I, uh, I just updated OBS. So now it's OBS glitching out on me. Anyways, I want to go click uh, tournament announcement. Can I read it? Can I? Open inventory. Some items may be 
equipped, facilitating their use. Sort items by category to remove an item from the inventory. Well, that sounds intuitive enough. Huh. Okay. Press I for inventory. I still feel like I still feel like the mouse is way too sensitive. Am I being way too sensitive today? <laughs> uh, oh God, why my brain? Okay. The hell with this. Now it's frozen. Resume. God, I just like it to just be just slow down. Slow down, man. All right, inventory. Let's do that. Okay. Well, it looks clean. I like it. This, I, I mean, Witcher 1 was pretty uh, robust, too, when it came to uh, their menu system. So I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll work out. It'll work itself out. Now, is there a comparison? Is that what? So soaked boots versus squire. How do I? One, two. As far as I can tell, they are exactly the same. And I don't see a comparison field. Squire's boots. Resistance to incineration. Well, this does. Oh, yeah, no, I can do that. So I highlight this, hover over this. There we go. Okay, good. So then we go like this, like this. Okay. Um, orange. It's worth zero orange, the ones that I just picked up. All right. Well, uh, I like this, that it's, uh, if it has nothing in it, it's grayed out. That's pretty cool. It gives you a quick, yeah, that's cool. Uh, now, how do I, there we go, double click. Good, good. Intuitive tournaments in the Grand Arena. Did I click to start a Grand Arena? Not the game? What have I done? <laughs> Is this just training? The Grand Arena, famous throughout the North, as the site of the Ultimate Combat Trials opens its gates before you demonstrate your courage and source skill. Claim the glory and the coin due to true heroes. Those acknowledged as worthy of the tournament will receive an invitation enabling them to enter the Grand Arena and win eternal fame. Okay. Um, what's this stuff then? Uh, oh, probably. Wait. I don't know, but it doesn't matter right now. Ooh, what's it? Trophies, mutagens, alchemy. Yep. Crafting diagram. Formula. Healing bruise. Alchemy. Formula. Healing bruise. Okay. Action not allowed at this time. I guess I tried to what? Try to learn it. Oh boy, look at all that meta. Mm -mm. It's intimidating right away. I, I got, I got, like I got used to it in Witcher One, but it did take me a long time. So I would imagine I'm gonna have to go through. That's probably what intimidated me the most about starting off this game. 100%. Uh, book, book quest item. Okay, well that's not doing anything. So tournament announcement. Oh, oh sorry, my bad. There we go. Uh, it's for an eternal flame. I thought I um, got that from here. Oh, is this? Oh, quest items. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I like what that C. Good design. So far, so good. Books or quest item. Slash. And then we have just everything, I suppose, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I can use this. Uh, drop by. Okay, escape. Journal update. Uh, journal. Open it to view the description. Hint, to track a quest on the minimap, mark it in your journal with space. I'm going to try to read everything this time. I never, I always skip things. Uh, I don't, not intentionally. It's like I look like, it's like I'm looking at things, but I'm not, I'm not absorbing them. It's probably going to happen again. Okay, step by step. You have asked me to tell you of Geralt's feats in the arena, yet I recall another adventure, a brief one, that took place just before the Witcher reach the town where he would gain everlasting glory. It all began with a leaky boat, soaked boots, and a bad mood. What a dreary place it was, a gloomy forest, a deserted, muddy path, and the terrifying cries of necrophages feasting on a corpse. The penniless local peasants had shut the, the doors of their huts, and only a single voice could be heard. It was the voice of a man in the throes of death. Okay, well, I'll try to help you. Um, oh, neat. Okay, I like this setup a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Just the kind of thing I want to read right now, is it? Wound caused by a blade covered with brown oil do not heal. The blade grease also augments hemorrh uh, hemorrhage hemorrhaging. Hit 
an opponent with a blade covered in brown oil. So it's like it's like uh, for re for regenerating creatures, maybe. This oil is ineffective against creatures resilient, resistant to bleeding, resistant to bleeding. No. Well, because it would make no. It wouldn't have an effect, right? Okay, so rook. Rook is especially popular among witchers who believe that killing monsters quickly is that yes, yes, that's my Geralt in the I believe the yeah the RPI played is uh he's a brawler he's a drinker he's a womanizer and uh, action action first um this potion increases muscle power and thus damage deal uh, dealt to foes in close combat unlike thunderbolt it has no side of, not no side effect okay rook can be alleviated okay good 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 this 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 extra stuff i need to read when it's contextual because uh it's too much uh this is golden oriole okay increases resistance to special attacks such as poisoning incineration and bleeding petri's filter this potion created by a student of famous mage of the first conclave is weaker than Stanford's filter, but has no side effect. Petrie's filter increases the intensity of witcher signs. The impact of the Ard, the defenses of the Quen, the effectiveness of the Yurden, and so on. Falca's blood increases the maximum damage dealt with a sword. Perfect. It differs from world and the luck in that luck determines whether a witcher using the oil will land a, a hard or a light blow. This blade grease owes its name to King Vredank's daughter, a rebel known for her cruelty. Oh yeah, I remember cat. Uh, most oh, okay use okay. after inviting the witcher is able to see in total darkness. Yeah, the potion allows its users to see both living creatures and those made of inanimate matter even through wall. Uh, through walls cat slightly uh, disrupts perception however as a result of which its user deals less damage to monsters i don't remember that salmon circanian invention salmon found its way north thanks to merchants and was later adopted by the witchers the bomb stuns and immobilizes all creatures within range rendering them defenseless defenseless against witches play okay that one might be useful in combination um, swallow symbolizing spring and rejuvenation the swallow lends its name to this potion that accelerates the rate at which wounds scab over and heal as the universal brew is good on many occasions it's a healing potion got it okay move towards your quest objective a short hint can be found under the mini map follow the path through the forest Sounds simple enough. I have hard money if it works. Well, that's interesting. That's. It's, it's down just loud. Sound is coming in at in the yellow, high yellows. Well, let's just go. Let's just give her. It's the beginning of the game anyway, so how bad could it be? Right? Follow the path. Ooh, it looks really good, though. It looks really good. Character interaction. To talk to a character, point the camera at him or her and press the applicable button. You got it. You got it, Captain. Hello. Who are you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Will you let me look at your wounds? Odd. You don't resemble a traveling preacher. Oh, damn the dogs, it hurts to talk. I wager my armor's the only thing keeping me in one piece. I'll find some help. Futile, I'm afraid. Around here, folk don't open their doors to strangers. You would do well to find my squire. I'd like to thrash his hide for fleeing from those corpse-eaters. Consider it my final wish. I found his body by the river. I did. Oh yes, I did. Of course I did. Jeez, I took his boots. Listen, let me brew you a health Run potion. Wet. You're no witcher, so it could kill you. But if I'm not mistaken, you already think you're dead. There's a slim chance that your body will quell the toxins and regenerate. I'll expire in this hole before I let someone turn me into a mutant. That's not how it works. Stay calm and lie still. I need to find some herbs. Quest, step step. quest tracking. You have begun a new quest phase. Your objective is marked on the mini map in the upper right corner of the screen. Yeah, I got it. That's more or less like a traditional. That's what I do though. Then I, I just skip things and I regret it. No, no, no. It seems right. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, go to the place indicated on the mini map to find plants. You need to prepare the potion. What I also need to do. Goodness gracious. That was loud. This is way too loud. 
Oops. No. Resume. All right. Well, they won't let me in, huh? Open. We don't want no trouble. On your way. Be gone. We don't open for strangers around here. Fine. Oh. Okay, there are uh, invisible walls to keep you railroaded. This is a tutorial, after all. Hello, sirs, madams. Yeah. Looks neat. Open. Open! Oh, well, that's not where it's pointing, so how do I... Alright, well, I guess we're going to... Well, we're looking for herbs, so... Yeah, I'll be right there, buddy. I wasn't paying attention to the map. <laughs> the one thing I was told to do, uh, this thing right here, use the medal. Use the medallion to detect nearby containers, herbs, monsters. Place of power. To use the medallion, press the corresponding. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna just grab that right there. Take all. Anything else? What's that over there? Lantern. Nothing. Is there something else you want to tell me? Can I go this way? No. That's some rich foliage right there. God damn. Mm. Forgot what tracks, like how often I can use that. I might not. Anyways. We want to go and grab this. Okay. Um, there's some over here. Presumably. Right above me. What? Gather the... I did. If there's another... Oh, right here. Well, I'm going to have to ding off them. Well, I mean, I got train good training from uh, Inquisition, so we'll be good. Any more? One of each, please. Okay, to prepare a potion, balm or blade oil, you must have both the formula detailing its composition as well as ingredients containing the substance listed in the formula mixtures can only be prepared while meditating. Formula and ingredients can be purchased from shopkeepers. Me, 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 me. Quick menu, control. Okay. Okay, got it this oh you gotta hold it down oh 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 that was clean all right and then i want to go alchemy how did it know that i wanted to because that's the only thing i can do hmm Uh, let's see, Bryonia, Scleroderm, White Myrtles, Petals, and Celadine. Well, I, I, I'm sure it's just trying to keep it super simple for me, but that does make me wonder how exactly, oh, if I click on this, it just grabs all this stuff. That would be great. I recall it being super tedious. Yeah, you said. But it was super tedious. Um, I'm done. Execute your meditation step by step. Give the potion to the wounded knight. You got it. You got it. I don't. You never know. Might need it. See the audio. Knock now. back this potion. Still in the red. Try not to vomit. Drink it. You're still alive, so that bodes well. But you've got a ways to go before you're at full health. Now you have to sit and wait. You're no mutant, so it'll be a couple of days before you recover and we can get you out of here. Thank you, Witcher. Oh, uh, hallowed Grieve! Didn't have the chance earlier. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Bolton of Ironfoot. I wanted to try my luck in the arena, but some corpse eaters surprised me. My horse reared Repressed. and I came crashing down in full armor. They pounced upon me with their claws. Though broken, I managed to drive them off and crawl here. Pitiful story, but there it is. Hmm. That could mean some paid work for me. Doubtful. If the oh, corpses the weren't eaten, they'd girl. rot, emit a so stench, and breed pestilence. Ah, oh, damn the dogs! 
Those who fall in the arena, their bodies are cast into the ravine. The dead offer little disgusting. in terms of diversion, I'm afraid. Except perhaps to monsters. Oh, is it doing that one thing where you can ask the I same wanted thing? to try my luck in the arena, but some corpse eaters surprised me. Hmm. That could mean some doubtful. Oh. Those who fall in the arena, they Get so, well, so Bolton of Ironford, and farewell. You must Why take my invitation. Persist. If half of what I've heard about witches is Persist. true, Not you ought to manage well in the arena. Thanks, Bolton. I thank you. And now, Geralt of Rivia, if you've no objection, I would finally like to get some sleep. I mean, I mean, fair enough, because if I don't catch something that's said, I could play it back. And I know that's happened to me in games, too. And then I'd be pissed because I couldn't go back. <laughs> Anyways, hello. Get that corpse out of here. For the corpse is alive, bitch. Oh, stop. Okay. All right, well, I guess we're moving on. Geralt, let's go, um, let's go knock on some doors, man. Um, before I do that, I need to just, I need to level set again. This is crazy. Yeah, well, this is the first episode of Woes. Uh, it's any game I play at this point. I feel like I need to do this for. I don't know why it's happening. This happened Who in Star Wars, the night? Time. I think it was at Be 10%. gone, Curse Soul, or I'll stick the hounds on you. Got corpse eaters on this side, so I'll take your hounds any day. A jester, a eh? You're all jesters. You all think you're droll till you enter the arena. No room for joking around in there. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm Let's soaked and I'm freezing. Skeleton, Let me man. in. Ah, a vampire. I'll not let a bloodsucker in. Oh, no. I've got eels in garlic here. What do you say to that? I'll gladly submit to the eels and garlic trial, and the running water trial, and the beer trial. Who knows what you are? Evil crawls the night, corrupting the righteous. I'll wait for morn for the cock to crow. If the rising sun don't scare you off, I'll let you in. You want me to wait here? You there. All right. Let's find a place to rest. All right. It's a pretty slick tutorial because it is taking you through all the pieces that you need to know in the game in order to, and it's like putting a story around it. That's it. It's good. It's good. So uh, meditation. Pre yeah. Well, we kind of already learned that. Select the scent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already learned that. So I can just uh, press hold. Go sleepy time, and then uh, wait and rest until the selected time. I right, rest until the selected time. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, actually, I do want to see this. Hold on. Passing time. Uh, well, it's dawn. Ooh, that looks neat, too. <laughs> that looks neat. <laughs> we'll check the character stuff later. I'm sure they'll, they'll give us a tutorial of it. And then we can get out of here. Oh, let's see how the, the lighting changes in the game. That's great, too. Whoa! That's good. Let's go and let's see if these people open up in the day look at that look at that lighting right there holy crap dude sorry dude Leave us be. Off a little. all right that's beautiful okay how about now jerk still there foul soul yeah i'm still here and the cock has crowed as far as being foul, well, I may smell a bit. Has it got an invitation? It has. Then it may enter. Good luck to it in the arena. Let's see what the fighting's all about. I heard that gets a little, a little tricky in this game. Trickier than the first one? I don't know, but possible. All right. Welcome to Witcher Training. Draw your sword. Draw your silver, silver sword. Use the same key to sheath. Rotate the camera towards the opponent you want to attack. Focus on a chosen foe and mark him. Oh boy. Maybe my thumb can do it. I don't know. Does the space do anything yet? Space um marks a quest. Alt. Okay. I think I'm getting okay. Focus on a that's if I only want to focus. Geralt will attack until your foe dies 
or you select an Atari. Okay, that's fine. Move the camera to select you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we'll see what it feels like. We'll see what it feels like. How bad could this go? Aim at the skinny opponent. I just, I just do this then. I go like this. I just do this. What the hell is happening? Oops. Oh, I've done something bad. Hold on. Some Windows setting popped up. Got me something. I don't know. But I mean, if alt doesn't work, then that's, I mean, the tutorial's failed. The game has failed me here. Or this is going to ext extremely frustrate me. Can I fall off the edge? Every game, I always want to walk off an edge. I don't know what to tell you. I can't. I don't know. Do, do, do you want to you put your sword away? Oh my god, I can, like nothing? Okay, all keys. There, how about I, I spam everything? You want to do anything how about that? No? Okay. Alt. Okay, you know what? We're just going to attack the knight. Okay, nothing's working. What didn't I read? Place the sight on. What, what's the sight? This thing? And then hit alt. Oh, yeah. Well, that's... I'm not entirely sure that's what I wanted to do. I wanna I wanna highlight this skinny dude right here. This guy. Did that work? Why is this guy chasing me? I don't want it. Okay, you know what? I don't have a choice here. What's up? Well that was I'm just cool spamming buttons. I don't know what you want. Yes. Does it matter where you Turn your like I'm, I'm changing directions as I swing. I thought there was something like that in the first one. Slow opponents, okay. Slow opponents mount strong attacks while swift opponents. Uh, there was something about this. The cat you use different. No, my my webcam is definitely glitching. <laughs> Thank you OBS for screwing up this entire episode. <laughs> Anyways, just 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 go with it. Just go with it for this episode. I'm not recording past this because uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. Um. There was different po different different fighting stances I had to take to fight different types of opponents. Fighting either requires dodging and parrying. Keep in mind that parrying only reduces the damage Geralt receives rather than eliminating it entirely. You cannot parry magic attacks. Dodge them or cast signs to protect yourself. Erwin. Well, I'm not entirely sure what I did to dodge. Vigor is represented by the yellow bar in the upper left corner of the screen. Vigor drops every time you parry an opponent's strike or cast a sign. Low Vigor will prevent you from casting signs. Hint, Vigor regenerates over time. Drink potions to accelerate this process. Parry your opponent's attack by pressing and holding E. Parry by pressing E. Just before he strikes. Come at me again, bruh. Shoops. Wait, why can I not swing now? Why can I not swing now? Press space to evade. Oh, because it wants me to do this thing instead. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Oh, that actually dodged, like, makes him. Yeah. And then what? Some of the pest then uh, uh. you select the direction of your dodge. Okay. Uh. That's neat. It's, it's, it's pretty dynamic, but... Okay, so counter your opponent's attacks with repost. Okay, do to repost, hold down the parry key. Hold down the parry key and attack with repost marker. When the repost mark okay appears on your foe <laughs> you must first acquire the related outside of the tutorial okay this is kind of come later after i get used to combat a little bit more okay so i have to hit what i have to hold attack press hold down the parry and attack when the <laughs> son of a bitch so like this like hold on so i have to parry Parry. I don't see no repulse marker. Parry. Isn't that the parry? Where's the repulse marker? Yeah. 
And why am I not dodging all of a sudden? When I'm in space bar? Is it the portal forcing me to just do my thing, do its thing? Like I have to do what it wants? That right there? I didn't see no marker. I don't understand. What am I not seeing? Man? Parry and wait for your Poe to attack. Parry? Oh, do I parry like this and wait and then I attack and come to me? I do this thing? But I didn't see no marker. Oh, I saw it. Oh, neat. <laughs> it's patience. Each time you cast a sign, you lose one point of vigor. The art sign can knock down your. Okay, stun your opponent. Oh my, these signs are safe. Press the applicable key. And then, okay. In addition to dealing regular damage, Geralt and his foes can inflict critical effects in combat. These additional effects reduced by attacks remain active for a certain time. The stun and knockdown effects allow Geralt to finish off opponents instantly. Some foes are immune to selected effects. Look at the top of the screen to see the effects dealt to Geralt. Yeah, but this is just an auto right here. Okay. <laughs> you have stunned your foe. Attack him. To well, I did. I did exactly that. Are we done here? Wow. Select a sign by pressing the corresponding key. Select a sign. Oh, uh, three. You can also select signs while scrolling through the list. I'm, I'm probably okay with that. I'll probably try to limit again what I take so that I control it as I go. Um, but like, I don't know if this Brad wants to come at me. I can just, oh, what the? Critical effects on Geralt. The mage has dealt the incineration critical effect on Geralt. The Witcher will take additional damage as long as the effect remains active. Both positive and negative effects remain active for a certain time. Okay. Effect duration is this. Okay. Fire, freezing, poison. That feels all intuitive. Okay. So, how I guess it's just. Careful! The Angeli defeat! Low vitality. Um, the mage has dealt significant damage with his spells. Your vitality represented by the red bar. Uh, screen, your vitality is low. Focus on defense and cast the Q sign to reduce the damage. Oh, sorry, the Quen. Defensive Quen sign absorbs damage dealt by your foes. To reflect part of the absorbed damage back at the foes. Okay, it requires an ability. Can I, uh... Five. 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 What's up? Well, I mean, I'm not getting out of here. Oh, press gold eight. To trigger the magical... God, that's like way over there. How am I... Okay, here. Where is he? Okay, the cleanse sign will protect you from attacks and help you defeat the mage. Oh, hello. This is going to be interesting. The Axie sign allows you to assume temporary control of your foes. Oh. Careful! Wonder the how many more will turn Got him. I didn't get him. Cast the Axie sign, pressing and holding 9 to assume I mean, it's just weird. It's fair. This is awkward. Uh, this might be what people were talking about, but I don't know. But Careful. when you're using WASD, the, the last thing God. you want to do is have to let go of all your keys to do this. I'm pressing 9. And then this happens. I'm pressing 9. By pressing and holding 9 to assume control of this, I'm pressing the There we go. Some, some, something's going on here, though. Okay, well, um, Yurden. Magical traps traced on the ground. Yurden immobilizes opponents. Use them to trap the foes. And attack them from behind. There's uh, way too much strategy happening in the tutorial. I'll also say that up front. Uh, oh, he's himself right there. Okay, that's fine. I, mean, I can still reach six swords, so. 
Does that work or not? There we go, and then we attack from behind. Yeah. And then we attack, 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 attack. Seven. Why seven? To finish off the dark mode with the, oh, with the Igni. Oh, they want me to do a full, a full test of all of my science. Uh, Troy was probably compromising me there. I uh, retrieve all the items from the arena. I have to place an item. I'm doing it again. I got this one. Take all. I can scroll through this probably. Can I click down or do I? No, just take all. There we go. And then we hit uh, place the bombs, traps, and daggers retrieved from the chest in your quick slots. Wow, this is thorough, man. This is thorough. Quick slots. Oh, pockets are quick slots. Oh, I don't like, I don't think I'm going to like the way like this. Maybe. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I like the idea of it. I just, I, yeah. I mean, I like the idea of this. I don't like the idea of having to reach for nine to use a sign. So I don't recall doing that in Witcher 1. Okay, so we have a bomb. Let's put a bomb in it. So how do I know what these quick slots represent? Like what, what triggers these ones? I've already went, I've gone from three to nine <laughs> with the signs. Uh, well-balanced dagger. All right, well, uh, oh my gosh. Scroll through, okay, so three scrolls the uh, signs, four scrolls the quick slot. You can also select quick slot items from the quick, me quick menu. Bring up the quick menu, then release the quick menu key while the chosen item is selected. Was this better with a console? Like with a uh, gamepad? I'm wondering. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. I might be tempted to try to switch this up. Scroll through. Okay, four. Yeah, well, it's three and four. So three for signs. And... Are you going to give me another? Select the bomb from the quick slot. And use it to, fe to defeat your foe. Oh, I mean, I like that. I like that, I suppose. Wait, and then... Okay, R is good. R is good. Oops. There you go, bud. Fine. Let's get some range here. Oops. I suppose I should probably aim. As long as I kind of have in my sight and that target is on him. Place a trap. This is easy. This feels right. This feels good. Hey, bruh. What's up? Hey. <laughs> Take that. Come get me. Ow. Okay, so the traps hurt me. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Throw a dagger. All right. No problem. We're going to do this. Oh, this feels good. Sing. Wow. Yeah. Where'd you go? Hold on. Hold on. Get him in my sight. Get him in my sight. I have to hit altars. Nope. Nope. Don't let him catch him. Don't let him catch him. And go. What? Well, because I don't have him in my sight. Got him. I don't see the target thingy, though. I, I, the alt doesn't seem to... Well, hold on. Well, I can get hit. I'm not gonna die. But see, like alt. I'm I'm clicking alt. Facing the dude. What am I like? I'm hitting alt. Isn't that the whole thing you're supposed to see? There you go. Now it appeared, but I mean, that's not gonna help me when I'm actually not in the tutorial mode. You know? Can I just like spam this? Test the screen down. It didn't seem to work. Is there a shield on. What's up? Throw a dagger, press and hold R to aim precisely. Press and hold R to aim precisely and release the, oh, what's, oh damn. Oh damn, okay, yeah. Boing. Does it actually pause the game? Sort of, oh, it slows things down. In the head, boom. <laughs> okay, that could be cool. But, okay, over the first six levels, you will only be able to unlock abilities from the training path. As you require more talents, 
As you acquire more talents, you will be able to spend them on abilities from the three remaining paths, magic, alchemy, and swordsmanship. Uh, swordsmanship. For the most part. Your character has advanced to char at character level. Perfect. Dun dun. Mutagens can be used to modify some of Geralt's abilities to use a mutagen. Go to the character development panel and find an ability with a mutagen slot on the training path. Place a mutagen in a slot to upgrade that ability. Search the corpses of slain monsters for more mutagen. Right, how about you, this corpse? Is there a corpse out here? The gargoyle, where did that go? Enter the character. Oh, I'm going to do that, huh? All right. Oops. Uh, uh, how, how do I enter the character? <laughs> Meditate. Oh, like this. Uh, do, 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 sword. Nope. Uh, I have to go into meditation. And then I go to character. There we go. Wow. That looks neat. Okay. So I'm uh, in the training tree, which is up here. Yeah, swordsmanship, magic, alchemy. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like. Neat. Uh, so vigor regeneration, vigor regeneration while out of combat, plus twenty five percent. Vitality, ten percent up. Unlocks the ability to parry blows from all directions. Unlocks the ability to th unlocks the ability to throw daggers. I like the feeling of the thrown daggers. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Unlo oh man, but then they were limited. So then that means I'm going to have to stock up on, like, I'm going to have to micromanage, like, depletables. Bleh. Okay, we have uh, unlocks the ability to redirect arrows. Damn. Regeneration during combat, 10%. Uh, that's cool, too. Now, I guess none of these are on. I can choose one. Oh, I probably have to start down here and go up. Or can I choose anything? Level zero. Oh, I already have some of these. That's why they're colored. And then this one's zero. But level one of two. Yeah. Okay. Um. No, I don't care about that. Um. Regen, vigor, regeneration while out of combat. That sounds reasonable. No, I want to throw daggers. Damage. Do I want to throw daggers. Upgrade. Okay. No, not yet. Fine. Let's go to. <laughs> let's go regen. Maybe. Unlocks the ability to parry blows from all directions. What do I want to do? During combat, 10%. Let's go during combat. Done. Well, I get six levels. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get, I got, to, I'm, six levels of training is six levels of training. Okay. So I guess we're done here. Level, I'm level eight already. How? Because I imported or did I get a benefit there? Oh, attributes. Hold on. Did I miss something? It probably would really told me, right? Knowledge, abilities. Very clean. A lot of meta, a lot of meta stuff to really grind down into the uh, details and the nitty gritty. Uh, I guess exit. What do you want me to do now? Enter the character development panel and spend all of your available talents on abilities from the training path. Did I not do everything you wanted me to do? Am I missing something? Zero talents. Did I not commit something? I did. Oh, mutate. Oh, mutate. What? So I need to mutate it. I need to put a mutagen. Is that's what they were explaining to me? I'm fairly certain. I see. So you can, that's a weird extra step. You got to take a talent. You got to put the talent in and then you have to mutate to kick it in. You need to find a mutagen for this to even work. Yes. Hmm. I don't know what the meta is behind, like what the mechanical reason is of slowing that down. I think it's a neat extra step, but it's an extra step. So, um, which involves, I would presume, you have to get mutagen off of your kills. Well, I guess it forces you to sort of play, like, kill stuff. You get the XP, you level. I don't know why you would never have that mutagen ready to be able to do that. It feels like something you just have all the time. 
well, I don't know. Or, I mean, if you don't have it, you got to go out there and kill stuff so that then you can... What's happening? There we go. Retrieve all. Okay, final trial. Your final trial awaits. Make sure to prepare as you're about to face three waves of opponents. Before the trial begins, explore the chest in the arena and use the items you find there. Remember to drink some potions and coat your blades with oils. Also, fill your quick slots with items. Begin the trial by, uh, at any time by stepping into the highlighted circle. All right, well. First, let's grab what's in here. Damn. Your next fight requires some preparation. Begin drinking several potions. You should find a few in the chest in the arena. Each potion you consume increases your toxicity. I remember that. I remember that. Control to drink potions. And then blah, 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 blah. This. When you are ready, step into the highlighted. I'm not ready. Stop. Right here. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. Long sword, silver sword. Um, drink potions. That doesn't feel right. I, I don't feel that doesn't feel right. I have to come in here to. to I guess. Uh, the whole thing with the Witcher thing is like you prepare. You don't drink potions while you're in combat. You have to preemptively think about what you're going to need yeah yeah okay get yourself drunk on potions then move in i just did that makes like story sense it's just it's cool this is a cool idea um because it's different it's different um uh, maribor increases vigor while yeah sure so i just click it oh, i have to drop i have to drop oh i like how it's because then you can like stack them okay you can go i want to do these and go oh neat it doesn't have to be like that <laughs> okay uh, oops oh I can I can set a default of the okay of the stack I want to okay prepare with um, I need to go to inventory and set up, um, I guess I'll do stuns and freezes, wounds all within range. I don't know, we have tons of slots here, so let's go with that, uh, 10 of them. Let's go with daggers, enhancements, potions, traps, and we have what here? Tra Wait, that's what I did, no I didn't, um, incinerates, sure. How many more do I have? I guess that's all of them. Am I missing something? Nah. All right. Escape. Let's do it. How back could this go? Let's go. I, I suppose I could have set up a trap first, huh? Oh, look at that. Neat. Am I doing it? Am I casting? Why am I not do putting this on the ground right now? Oh, saw our shit. Oh shit. Gotta go. Sorry, screwed up here. Try to get him in the middle of this. That might catch me. Get him. Did he throw something? Yes, gotcha. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a bomb here. Got him. Nice. Oh yeah, they're, they're both throwing crap at me. Though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you here. Just like circle them up. I oh, got two of them now. Oh, I like how they do that. Oh no! Shoot! My mistake. Go. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Hold on. I like this. Neat. Okay, I'm getting the. Okay, getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. Okay, then we need. Then we need some bombs up in this place now. Here, this right here. That did not get both. One of them already died. No, he's over here. It's probably ranged. Yeah, let's get him uh, nice and close. Yeah, so that's fine. Oh shoot, four of them. Achievement unlocked. Hey bud, what's up? See you guys. Oh, that owned me. That owned me. That was a bad move. That was a bad move. I'm dead. 
I probably could heal myself. <laughs> no. Well, yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. Indeed, not is more repulsive than the monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witcher, as they are the offspring of foul sorcerer and witchcraft with scrupulous scoundrels without conscience and virtue. I think I got it. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Six years have passed since the memorable day when the northern kingdoms, their forces united, defeated the hosts of Nefelgard in open battle in Brenna. So loud. It's so distracting, but I, I need to pay attention. Uh, famine and disease reign in all the north. Elves and dwarves inhabit ghettos. In ever-increasing numbers, they flee to the forest to join Skoyatel units. In Tamiria, an unidentified assassin attempts to murder King Foltest. The killer dies at the hands of Geralt of Rivia, of Rivia a professional monster slayer. That's where we ended. A month, a month passes. On the banks of the Pontar River, Faltest's army, army is victorious once more, ending civil strife in the country. Yet, something. Tamaria, the year 1271. The dungeon of Lavalette Castle three days after the battle. Come on, sixes, Daddy needs you. Oh shit! Ha! Twenty orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there. Shut it. He's in chains. Can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back! Look, he's awake again! Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson! I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Folks say they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm still talking normal. I'm not so easy to kill. Oh, what? Thought you died. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Hmm. Very funny. Fuck you. <laughs> Nasty. Got and after we've been through so much. You knew I could Same side of the barricade then. Opposite sides of the table now. You can change that. You want me to sit on your lap? Vess! Unshackle him. Oh. That sounds like a bad idea, and I'm the one playing wrong. Alright, alright. Alright. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. 
You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Hmm. That morning the king summoned me. The assault. We split up at the monastery. We split up at the monastery. Oh, is he the monastery guy? The assault. Ah, uh, I'll start with the morning. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. <laughs> Whoa. Your choice would have triggered a different perspective? See? Or something? Day of the Assault, Dawn. You're playing it out? Someone got a card last night. It begins. <gasps> she wasn't. Witcher, you? are you up? His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King... We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. A wise war is a contradiction, Triss. It is, Triss. Then maybe you know just how I should advise our lustful monarch. Stop falling in love, sire no further Jesus bastards, and don't wage are... stupid wars. Genius. Crazy superior. You know, these bastards could vie for the throne I mean, in the future. But... Then we'd have an even more senseless conflict. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm -hmm. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river. Claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon in the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. Although it could be a fork tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. He said wyvern. I thought I'd been corrected by saying it's, it's just been wyvern. I've always said wyvern. 
And then Dragon Age, I think, maybe he starts saying Wyvern. Thinking I was saying it wrong, because I always say things wrong because I've saying it for 20 years. <laughs> Thank you, Geralt. Uh, the unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the King's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. Alright. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. So right at the beginning of the game, you choose one of three scenarios to play off, uh, 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 the papa, to, to play. So I, I don't get to see the other two. Anyways, uh, I think we're going to uh, close this off here, figure out how to save. That looks friggin' remarkable out there. That's crazy, the lighting right now. Coming down. Holy God. That's great. All right, so uh, let's save this off and uh, see what's going on. I'm having some setting issues, as you can uh, hear and see. I'm fairly certain my web camera has been messing up. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know what else to do. I mean, I guess the audio is fine at 50, but... Okay, there you go. This episode is just going to be... Uh, I got to put it out there just because I got to chest... This is going to be a long game, so the last thing I want to do is mess up the settings and then be a bunch of episodes in. And because this is a long game, I need to iron this out. I'm looking forward to, play, to playing this game because it looks friggin it looks phenomenal. So I will catch you in the next stack of episodes. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, buddy. Peace.